Hi everyone, welcome to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to install Moodle on a shared hosting account. Firstly, I'll show you how to choose a domain name and how to make sure that it's available. Secondly, I will show you how to opt for a web hosting solution. And I'll post the link to in the description for you to follow. Then I will show you how to choose a domain name or a subdomain to set up Moodle. And finally, I will show you how to set up Moodle in your, either your domain or your subdomain. So let me show you how this is done. First, we'll head over to my web hosting solution uh, and I'll post the link in the description below, which you can click on and follow the instructions. Okay, so my hosting company is A2 Hosting. So type in a2hosting.com and you'll end up here. Click on hosting and hover over web hosting and click on it. Here you'll see there are various options to choose from and once you're happy with a specific option, you can click on get, either get startup, get drive or get turbo boost. And I'll suggest you choose this one here. So let's click on get turbo boost. Once on this screen, if you don't have a domain name, you can click on register a new domain. And now we can search if your domain is available. Okay, so let's type in eSchool and we can choose here domain either .com, .net, .org, whatever uh, domain you want to choose. Let's check the availability and it will check if this is available and it will show you that uh, this is unavailable but it will also give you suggested uh, domains. Okay, so here you'll have eSchool.college, eCollege. Uh, e eschool.courses and eschool.study, also eschool.education. Okay, uh, let's, so let's choose the eschool. Let's make that this education or academy. Let's check the availability. So it will be www.eschool.academy. And you'll see there it says congratulations this is available your domain name is available so when users type in uh, https www.eschool.academy they will be directed to your website okay so once you're happy you can click on continue and now it will show you what um, is available and the options you need to pay. Okay, um, yeah, you can select um, certain additional functionalities. Um, also, here yeah, the billing cycle you can choose from, let's say, one month or 12 months or 24, 36 months. Okay. Once you're happy, you can click on continue and make the purchase. Okay, so once you made the purchase, you will be sent a link to your website uh, where you will obtain a control panel and where you can log in. So once you've done, you've received all of that, you go back to the website and you click on login. Okay. So once a year, you can type in your email address and your password and click on login. You will be immediately directed to your um, dashboard where you can click on cPanel login. So this is what your control panel will look like. Okay, on your right, you'll see all your statistics. And here in the center, you'll see all the apps and functionalities uh, within your control panel uh, where you can control your website from the back end. OK. All right. So let's look now at uh, domain name and subdomain name. OK, so let's go to my main website. So this is my main website and this is my domain name elearningportal.education. OK. This is my main domain. Okay, 
So I've used this domain to install WordPress and to provide information about my website. Okay, so here, you'll, here you can find all the information about my website and where users can um, buy courses or register on my website. Okay, and all my contact details. Okay, now this is on my main domain. Okay, my subdomain will be my Moodle directory. Okay, so this is my subdomain study.elearningportal.education. Okay, so you'll see the difference. This is my main domain and this is my subdomain. Okay, so my suggestion is if you um, are planning to add a WordPress site, do it on your main domain install WordPress on your main uh, domain and then install Moodle on your subdomain. So then you can direct users from your main domain to your subdomain. Okay, so yeah, they can uh, browse all the information and when they click on a course, it takes them to the Moodle website. Okay, so this is how I set mine up. Okay, so back to your uh, control panel. Let's create a subdomain. If you scroll down, you'll see here under domains, you have your domains and your subdomains. Okay. Since I already have a, a main domain, I can add a subdomain by clicking on subdomains. Once here, you'll see these are all my subdomains. In my subdomain box here, okay, I can type a subdomain and I'll choose Moodle. Uh, and when you click away, you'll see your subdomain uh, document root will be moodle.elearningportal.education. Okay. When you're happy with that, click on create. Once done, go back. So if you go to your file manager now in your control panel, if I scroll down and I'll click on file manager, so these are all my files. And if I go to M, you'll see here there's Moodle.elearningportal.education. If I double click on it, you'll see there's nothing in here. OK, uh, just uh, default files. OK, so we'll install Moodle within this directory. OK, so once here, let's go to our control panel again. In here. So we'll use Softaculous App Installer, and this is a quick method of installing Moodle. OK, so under Softaculous App Installer, find the categories and click on Educational. OK, so let's click on Educational. Once here, you'll see Moodle will be your first one and you'll see the version is 3.11.4 plus. OK, so that's the latest version of Moodle. Now click on install. And now we need to tell the control panel where to install Moodle. OK, we won't be installing Moodle in the main directory. So click in the drop down box and we've set up the subdomain Moodle.elearningportal.education. Click on that. OK, make sure that it's HTTPS. Then important, if you already have a Moodle website, uh, your main data folder will be Moodle data. OK, so just provide an underscore and give it a number. OK, or a name. OK, so let's call this um, Moodle since uh, this was the uh, subdomain. OK then we'll know that the Moodle data folder is also linked to the Moodle uh, subdomain. OK, cron jobs you can leave as is or on the default. Now let's set up uh, my Moodle site. Remember, we've uh, spoke about this when we purchased our domain. Uh, so our site will be Moodle. Let's call this Moodle in our site description. We can change this later on. OK, now for our password, use a strong password. Let's type in admin for this exercise and then there's my password. I'll just copy my password. OK, um, and you can change these uh, parameters um, and also the email. OK, so once you're happy with this, scroll down. Just make sure you copy the password. Scroll down and click on install. This will install Moodle within your 
subdomain and it will take about three to four minutes to install you'll see here uh, but it's quicker than that okay so once installed it will provide you with two urls okay one to your website and one to the back end of your website where you can log in so just um you can right click on this url and open in incognito window okay now you can log in remember our username were admin and uh, let's paste in our password there and then click on login now you'll see there's your model site ready to use and we've installed 3.11.4 okay uh, from here you can modify let's go to the site home Yes, your Moodle website and um, let's install a theme for your new Moodle website. So let's go to Site Administration, Plugins and then Install Plugins. Let's go to the Moodle.org um, Plugins directory. From here you scroll down, click on Plugins and then in your search box type in themes click search and then we are looking for the tremor theme okay so either we can scroll down or we can just type in tremor just before theme okay so there's our tremor theme let's click on tremor and then Make sure that you have the correct version of Tremor, it's 3.11. Click on download. Go back to your Moodle site. And just drag your downloaded uh, plugin to where the f within the file picker here. Wait till it uploads completely. Okay, so that it's uploaded completely. Now click on install plugin from zipped file. Click on continue. Let's make sure that everything is OK. So our environment is OK there. Yeah, it says uh, site not HTTPS. But you can leave this as is because this will this usually takes 24 hours to um, make it secure uh, because the if you look at here in your just before your URL, it says not secure because your secure certificate is not registered yet. But H2 hosting will register it within 24 hours. OK, let's click on continue. And then upgrade my model database now. Click on continue on the screen. Okay, we can leave everything on its default because in our next video we will make changes. Okay, let's click on save changes. The screen as well. Let's scroll down and click on save. On the screen, scroll down and click save again. Okay, so once it's installed, let's activate that theme. Go to site administration. Then under Appearance, scroll down and click on Theme Selector. Remember, this is our default theme. We need to change it. So next to our default theme, let's click on Change Theme. And now we need to select the Tremor theme. OK, so you will click on Use this theme. And now the changes will take effect. Let's click on Continue. So the Tremor will now be our default theme. Let's click on Site Home and see how it looks. So and yeah, and yeah, you'll see this is our Tremor theme now, uh, and we can make modifications to the theme. Okay. In short, this is how we install uh, Moodle on our shared hosting account. 
uh, in this video we looked at uh, domains and subdomains how to purchase a domain how to purchase web hosting and also how to install Moodle uh, on shared hosting I hope this video was useful please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos within my channel